Hello and welcome. welcome to another video. My name is Axel. I'm Sean. And today we are here in Manchester oh. to show you five things that you might not have known existed here in Manchester. Let's get exploring. Built into the brickwork of the Manchester Craft and Design Centre, this tiny piece of art is easy to miss. Mr Smith's dream is the Northern Quarter's tiny artistic gem hiding in plain sight. Only to be spotted by eagle-eyed walkers or those who already know where to look. As you look at the piece, you will see a miniature staircase spiralling out of sight. The soft glow of the installation's backlight makes you wish you could shrink and enter the enticing secret world to which the stairs lead. The artwork is inspired by the many pet shops that once filled Manchester's northern quarter. It pays homage to a man named Mr Smith, who once ran a pet shop in the area and often dreamt of his animals. It was designed by ceramicist Liz Scrine and commissioned by the Manchester City Council. Mr Smith's dream is a true hidden gem and brings a smile to everyone who happens to stumble across it. In 1996, a bomb was detonated by the IRA, blowing up most of the surrounding area in Manchester city centre. This letterbox was remained unscathed from the attack and stands as a monument to Manchester's resilience against terrorism. The bright red post box is an iconic British structure akin to the country's phone booths, was one of the few structures left standing. The mail it contained was untouched and was delivered as if nothing had happened. The post box was removed for repair for a while. The destroyed parts of the area were rebuilt. Once the repairs were complete, it was returned to its original position with the addition of a plaque marking the event. Measuring just a few feet across and not much longer in length, the owners of this bar claim it to be the smallest bar in Europe. This is the Circus Tavern on Portland Street in Manchester. The Circus Tavern on Portland Street is the tiniest pub in Manchester. And the owners embrace this small serving space, claiming it to be the smallest bar in Europe. After all, the tavern's slogan is the smallest bar in Europe, the biggest welcome in the world. The smallest bar in Europe, or what claims to be. And I'll tell you now, it does feel pretty tight. If you've got claustrophobia, you probably wouldn't feel well enough. The property measures no more than 500 square feet with a maximum capacity somewhere between 20 and 40 people. But beware, that number can nearly double as customers aim to squeeze in on match days. There is two sitting rooms inside the Circus Tavern with a corridor on the outside where the bar is situated. The sitting rooms are decorated with black and white pictures of sports personalities and especially feature several images of Manchester United throughout the years. There is some speculation as to how the establishment got its name. 
It could have been derived from a circus that used to perform in the nearby field, which is now Chatham Street. But when asked about the name, the staff will sometimes say, it's because we get a lot of clowns in here. The building itself dates back to 1790 and didn't officially become a drinking tavern until 1842 when Tetley's Brewery acquired it. What do you think? Very, very small. <laughs> it definitely is the smallest bar in Europe, or the smallest one that we've been in in Europe anyway. Yep, it's absolutely tiny. I can't believe how small it actually is. It's literally like you can't even move in there at some point. There's only about 20 people in there. That's what I say, I'm glad that we drank in the room and in the corridor because yeah. the corridor is definitely the true experience. Here at 19 Granby Row, the first bottle of Vinto was mixed in 1908 by Mr. Jonathan Nichols. Originally marketed as a medicinal tonic, jauntily known as Vim Tonic, which was eventually shortened to the current Vimto. The drink was made of a mix of fruits and herbs that gave it a distinctly medical tang. By 1913, the drink was reclassified as a soft drink, beginning a small but loyal commercial following. In his memory, on the very site that he mixed the first bottle of Vimto, they have commemorated him by building a giant wooden monument to the first ever Vimto that was ever mixed in Manchester. Installed in 1992, the oversized monument consists of a giant Vinto bottle surrounded at its base by outsized versions of some of the fruits and herbs used in the drink's production, all carved out of sustainable wood. The monument became such a popular pilgrimage site that it was refurbished in 2011, giving it a bright new paint job. The monument sits on the spot where Vimto was first manufactured, although now it's on a college campus. And this is where Manchester began. Here, 1700 years before the industrial changes that shaped the modern castle field, the Romans built a castle in a field. And we are standing inside the original fort. Many people are acquainted with the occupation and existence of Romans in Britain, from London to as far north as Scotland. What might be lesser known is an area in the southwest of Deansgate, Manchester, containing the ruins of an ancient military fortress, Mamuseum. This is a pre-existing Roman compound in the Castlefield area. Mamuseum was ideally situated between the confluence of two rivers, the Medlock and Irwell. This was a strategic move to protect consequential roads between the trading posts of Chester and York. This fortification was manned by nearly 500 soldiers and was rebuilt on at least three different occasions. Today, visitors are invited to freely roam around Castlefield, the United Kingdom's first urban heritage park. And that brings our video to an end. 
We've done something a little bit different for you here today. We've gone around and we've tried to find some more niche attractions for you in Manchester city centre. All these things are things that if you wasn't looking for, then you probably would miss, but are great things to explore in and around Manchester. So with that said, if you've liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of our content and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video. My name's Axel. I'm Sean. And we'll see you in another video. Bye.